Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In the last part, uh, we finally got Sanjar and Graham to stop broadcasting so the broker can broadcast. I forget what he needs, I forget what I'm asking him for. Where did that thing come from? I gotta sneeze. Oh. And uh, now we're here. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence. Which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, we can do whatever we want. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? We did what we could as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. I think we did a pretty good job. So. We didn't kill anyone. At least no one important. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Uh, yeah, he doesn't trust that many people. I don't think he trusts me. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Oh, so he knows her. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Do you pair at all? Uh, all right. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Got it. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Well, oh, you'll hear me shout. I'll scream, I'm gonna kill you, you bastard! Borst Worst. It's not the worst, unless it's Borst Worst. Who would want to eat that mutated pig? The hot dogs look great, or the sausages, whatever you want to call it. Okay, flip it. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Okay. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. I'm well aware of the effect I have on people. I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told Stop us to drinking. leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Captain! Big flaming thingy! What? Is that our ship? What was that? No, I totally missed it. Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic hole heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Not it. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? <laughs> Sanjar. Hiram? <laughs> Oh god, everyone's coming back on now. It's like a group chat, like, hello! It's a reunion, group hug. Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. 
Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. So can I just leave? Okay. I'm guessing Phineas is back on the ship. Wait. Where's Phineas? Oh yeah, no, I don't have to do that. You guys can figure it out yourselves, alright? I'm not everyone's errand boy. Back for our rest? Space adventuring is tiring work. So is being on the ground. Walking. With legs. Which you don't have. You're a robot. Okay, Phineas. Nope. Uh, where did I talk to Phineas? Oh, I'm going back to his lab. I thought I could just talk to him. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Uh, you can congratulate me if you want. Uh, yeah, Nakoya, you can come see him. You haven't seen him in a while, probably. Who knows? Oh, Phineas. I got you your data. Now, tell me what I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing at all. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Yay. Uh, make it sound so simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Great. Many steps. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. Yeah, I could do that. To subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. I think there's a lot of chemicals that are like that. Like acid. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Okay. Uh, how you doing, Bubbles? You doing good? You know, now that I look at him, if you were to look like at that back quarter of him, nope, not that side. From like there over, looks pretty edible. In fact, looks almost too edible. <laughs> no, I'm trying to eat this pig. Ooh, a nice bowl. I'm just gonna get a little bite of that thigh. Phineas, don't bother. Or don't bother looking over here. We're just talking to Bubbles. Okay, let's leave. It got a little weird in here. Well, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Well, you should have. Okay, off to... Where am I going? 
Terra. Oh, it's in Terra. I thought it was like a planet. Thank you. Okay, people, let's go. I guess I'll take these two. Oh, Felix has that weird look in his eye. Oh, what a nice looking place. Hello. Oh, you're her. That was fast. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. That's me. Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you. Uh, why sound so surprised? Nothing, it's just, I thought you'd be taller. Everyone anyway, thinks let's not that. get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix, is that Phineas? Yeah, that's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. No, I don't know. Tell me, who is it? What's your code name? Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Baxil Cuckoo. Nice. <laughs> no way. I'm Golden Eagle. You can be Cuckoo. No, you can be Golden Eagle, but seriously, Cuckoo? It makes sense if you think about it. Because I didn't know who you were, and old earth cuckoos would routinely trick other birds into feeding them. Uh, whatever. This cloak and dagger stuff is nonsense, but if everyone else gets a code name, I want one too. You can be cassowary. That's shockingly apt. Cassowaries were a solitary bunch, but once they had a friend, they'd stick with them till the end. Aggressive little creatures too. Oh, yeah, that cool. fits. Can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be raven or sparrowhawk? Just sparrow. Aww. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. What the hell anyway, would a fiend? You're looking Felix to make contact pin. with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Someplace less protected? Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. The first part sounds like me. Say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Can you get me into his estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Give me some intelligence how to break in. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation? Count me the hell in. Does that mean drinking? Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. All right, thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Okay, so I got Good work. Luck, thanks, Golden Eagle. Okay. Cassowary and chicken. Let's go. Leveled up again. All right, let's bring tech up to 40. And let's start bringing leadership up. Oh, and they got perks. Let's go with ability damage. And for Parvati. Yeah, sure. Let's go with companion ability damage too. Another workbench. Oh, well, that's far. So there's the guard. There's the clerk. All right, let's see if we can swipe a key first. Also, it's like if I just walk around this very secured state place with a gun out. People mind? Can I put this away somehow? Maybe not. Ooh, what a nice place. Uh, why can't something exciting happen around here for once? I'll make something exciting Nothing happen. wrong with stability. It means everything's running like You want to see something exciting? Don't you ever want You want to see something run? crazy? Maybe see ship <sighs> oh, I can't. What a thing mm. to say. Everyone knows I was trying. I tried for you. A janitor. You're a funny looking janitor. Nice feather hand. Another adron. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? I'm already famous. 
Right, here we go, Nikoya. The place is just for you. Hello, sir. Hey, 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 stand back. You. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. You are clearly intoxicated. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Good thing, too, because I may be headed there soon. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Wow. You must uh, be really proud. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of that like means probably a couple few thousand. There's a state, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> It is she shotgun. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. This is going to be easier than I thought. Anything you could tell me about him? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. She's like in his posters. No large anything? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. Well, you would have thought you would have come out with like a sword or something and like knighted you. Uh, how about I buy you a drink? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. I'm counting on it. Because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. It's his big and day, Parvati. Let him have it. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Uh, I think I already have one. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. You want to come join my crew? Wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. Nah, you are you should be celebrating, <laughs> man. I could, I could have another. You got another? Did you drink all that in one sip? Sure. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? I knew picking up all this random shit would come in handy. Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Well, I've killed a few oh, of them. Boss. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Not three? Only two? You've got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. I like this guy. Let's have another one. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. <laughs> I can medically persuade him. With your BMI, you can metabolize another. Just drink plenty of water. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a doctor. I say it's okay for you to drink. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. I do. Okay. Here Apparently. Goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I think I you're just getting too drunk. So good. I think I'm going to be sick. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be to get a key. Don't worry, but I'll help you get to the bathroom. I just need to sit down. Oh, you're not going to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Did he die? Oh my god. Close the door. Close the door. Oh. So I might want to check on that guy. He doesn't seem too good. Let's get out of here. Okay, we got a key. I've always loved that sculpture. It's an artery, and you say that every time. It's strange, though. That's supposed to be like this universe. 
That's a figure of speech. I know that. Do you? Okay. How do we get in? There's a bridge. <laughs> Idiot's probably face down on the bar by now. Take it easy. Not like you can get into any trouble past out. Well, he might be dead. Somebody might want to go check on that guy. I think I accidentally killed him. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Which one of these is Clark? After a deep and thorough examination oh, Rockwell's talking. Budgets, Who's Rockwell? And predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. If they'd sent money to Monarch instead of building even one of those homes, I bet we could have rebuilt Stellar Bay. The whole damn thing. Oh, dude, you got a scythe too? This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. I'm here for Mr. Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. You mean UPS? Uh, was he expecting a delivery? Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. I'm a curious dude. I could probably just sneak in there, right? Oh. Unauthorized personnel in restricted areas will be shot on sight without question. God, you can either fight, speak, or use a holographic shot to get through restricted areas. Post-mortem finds will be paid closest living relative. Wait, do I need specific IDs in order to use a shroud? So I have to find ID cartridges for the area? So I need the board ID. Don't know where I'd find that. Okay, uh, forget that. I don't feel like fighting. I don't think I'll be able to fight that well. Whoop. Uh, I, I guess I'll go get the parcel and be a postmaster. Ow. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. I don't care. You could be jerking off in the corner for all I care. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Our UDL security attendant is always prepared. Well, I'm two lockpicks away. Oh. Should I be back here? Where am I? Hello, sir. Uh, do you need any help? What's this? Nightingale. I don't have, like, any IDs on me, do I? I don't even know where you'd find them. Would you, like, buy them from somewhere? There's gotta be another way in here other than picking the lock, right? Right? Can I, like, squeeze through this? What is that? It's a candy bar. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Uh -huh, have a prosperous day. What about you, sir? Oh, Burning madam. the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Do you have a parcel for Clark? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Okay. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. Are you a robot? You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. <laughs> You do that? 
Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Yeah, it would. Here's your parcel to be delivered that was easy. to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Hoorah. Okay, let's get out of here. I do like how many like different paths they offer you for so getting stuff you need. Talks? Do all ships do that? Some do. Can't say for certain, since I only ever been on this one. Ada's something special though, ain't she? Ada, what is it? She? It? I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. It used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to. What do you think now? Well, I worked with a lot of machines, and ain't none of them like her. They can be pretty smart, but mostly they're rule books with a voice box. Ada's different. She's alive. One of life's mysteries, I suppose. I don't trust it. If it crashes us into a star, I'll be a mite upset. Me too. As I was trying to say, uh, like you can either steal stuff, you can like you persuade them. You could probably go in there guns blazing, but that wouldn't help you at all. Or you can go guns blazing in here, or at the backside probably. Hello, sir. There's nothing to see here. Move along. I have a package. Yeah. Let's see it. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Thank you for your time. You know, realistically though, I think you would take it in. But, all right, whatever. Like, you would think, like, you'd be like, no, if you get mail, have a guard bring it in, not this random guy. <laughs> Hello, uh, package for Clark? Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Oh, I can make it happen. How did you get in here? Don't worry about it. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow. I could see Bravati. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Honestly, dude, I forget why I'm even here. Oh, yeah. I need that stuff. Do uh, you want your package, though? Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine... Or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all then? Stop yelling in all caps. Why do you keep talking like that? Stars, they're getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? Oh, you think I am one of those people? Slower and louder. And into my good ear. What's... Was that a joke? Sarcasm, even? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke with someone intelligent enough for irony. Great. So how about you talking about those chemicals? This again? I really don't know about any chemicals. Process of elimination. The only other person with access... Of course, of course... It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Wait, are you being held there by force? Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please! This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Okay, then. I guess I'll have a deal with him. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me. Things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. 
and fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. What is that? It usually doesn't turn out so well for the dissidents in the stories, but I like your verve. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis district, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Okay, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Okay. Wait. Brockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. What are you looking at? Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Brockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why are you trusting me? Why indeed. I know so little about you, much less your motivations. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. Besides, I have nothing to lose. If you're looking into Rockwell, I can only hope you're also looking out for Halcyon. I mean, I guess I am. Also, what's on it? What isn't on it is the real question. Porn? I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. No, no porn. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. <laughs> Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. That's Organizing a long time. and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck. And trust no one in the Acropolis district. Okay. Thank you, Minister Clark. <laughs> Stop breaking your legs. It's like the third time in this video. Okay. I want to do something out of the ordinary here. I'm going to stop the video early. Thank you all for watching. I don't know why I pause it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below. Leave a like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.